Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Schneeber, Earlier Craft Doctor, and I'm here with a video. After several months, I have been through a lot, and videotaping was kind of the last thing on my mind. Um, I want to say thank you to one of my subscribers. You know who you are. You contacted me and asked me about doing videos. Um, it was because of so many things, which I will tell you about a few of them and a few of them I won't. Um, unfortunately, it's more than one thing, but you know, that's how life is. So I wanted to show you some stuff that I got over the last few months that I hadn't even opened. So first we're going to start with our Anna Griffin stuff. So let me put some of this stuff, get some of it out of the way. Because I got a bunch of stuff that I never opened. Okay, so we remember the flower shop. I'm not sure if I did a haul on this one or not um, on the flower shop, but I'm going to do it anyway to start this video off. So this was a series that I want to say she started in April, May, January. I don't know, um, but I got it. It's part of the finishing school. Um... And, um, did I make anything with this? It looks all still intact, so I might, may not have. Or, you know what? I have a small group that I do with church, and I might have allowed them to do one of these projects. And, no, I have not because it's still intact. This must not be the very first one, then. The, oh, nope, it's not. This is the second one. This one is the first one. So this one had not been opened. Let me look at this one first. There's four in the series, and the next one is coming out next month, which is, oh, this month, because this is August. August something. Um, I'm not sure August. I just seen it, too, on HSN. It's getting ready to come out. Um, let me look. I got my iPad right over here over to the side. Let me see. Oh, come on. Um, this is the one, flower, the flower cart is the one that came out first. Let's see. Um, count, auto ship. Try to come on. Face recognition. Okay, let's see. Okay, so today is, they say next shipment, August the 6th, and today, what does this say? To, oh, this is tomorrow. The next shipment is tomorrow. Today is August 5th, so the next auto ship, make sure I got my credit card on there, yep, um, is August the 6th. Yeah, because tonight is Saturday, August 15th, and it's 10.51. So the next shipment is due tomorrow. I'm not sure if it's going to happen or not, but um, it's scheduled for tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. I'm not sure. So this is the first one, and I know I allowed one of my students to do a card out of this one because it was the last couple of classes. And only one of, one of my students came, and so I let her do this one. And so I know that this has been used. And so this is the cart. Whoa, just dropped the piece. This is the cart. Um, <clears throat> let me know how y'all, um, if y'all can hear me good with this mic. I'm using this Syntec set, the Syntec mic set. It's it's a the G2, and everybody tells me that it's comparable to the Rode. And every time I get ready to use it, something happens, and so I just hooked it up to my computer because I took my other mic up to my office, um, and it's been up there for months. <laughs> so. Not that I've used it, but it's been up there. Anyway, so this is the 
flower card die. This is, I love Anna Griffin stuff. It's just so beautiful to me. Um, this is the papers that came with it. Let's see. Is this not double-sided? Yeah, it is double-sided. Why is this not double-sided? I don't know. Okay, so we got this. Y'all know I'm recording at night as as per usual. My idea was to come and do some stuff for Dial Gear, which is my Dial Clothes line. Um, and I ended up cleaning up my craft room and never did get to the Dial Clothes stuff and not, because I stacked all the craft stuff. And I was like, let me sit and make a video. And then I spent the 15, 20 minutes trying to figure out how to get these stupid mics together because my, my big mic is at my office. And so I finally figured it out by Jimmy rigging all of my little cords together and YouTube in a, um, a video. Look, I love this pattern right here. This is one of, I think, her classic ones. And that's one of the ones I love the most. Okay, this is two different patterns right here. I don't know if y'all can hear that beeping. It's Wait a minute. Oh, huh, huh. this one is blue, and this one is yellow or white. And it got two different colors on the back. Um, I'm not sure if y'all can hear that beeping, but that's my husband coming home from work, which I always seem to get the tape in. This one has a light blue on the back. Get the tape in when he get ready to come home from work. It's so funny because he works the afternoon shift. And so you're going to hear him come in the house in a minute. You're going to hear your favorite doggy cousin get to barking because he hears that truck backing up. And he gets to barking to go outside. And I'm not going to let him go out there because that means I'll have to get up. Okay, then we got this. Then we just envelopes. Ah, this way. I love her gold paper. Then we have these. These are like um, garland. This is garland, and you just punch it out. You just punch, punch the garland out. I'm not gonna do it because I don't want to lose it because I've lost one of them somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. This is. I don't know. Okay. And then, of course, you always get these little things right here to write your message on. You can put them in the inside of your card, in the back, or however. These are just strips that I use. This is what it looks like when it's cut out. That's the size of it. A pretty big size. I can't remember if I cut this. I think I cut this out backwards. And so that's why I, it's still in here until I figure out how to use it. Then, of course, we got our examples. She gives great examples on how to do it. Um, how to use her kits. Um, and so that's the, the, the sheet. And then, we, of course, we have, like, name things. If you, if you were flowers, I'd pick you. Thank you. I love you. Blah, blah, blah. That's them. And then, of course, you know she got flowers galore. All kinds of flowers. I love the way these are, though. The um, Some of these are singles. But then some um, some of them are like whole pieces that will go across the card, at the top of the card, the bottom, whatever. I did make one of these. I think I made one of these. And nope, this was my student. I, I did make one of these. I made a sample, and I think I ended up giving it to somebody. I think that's what ended up happening. These are all just extra pieces to this flower cart. And then, now, let's get into the other one. This one is Flower Shop. The next one is the Flower Shop. Let's get in there. Okay. Okay, so this one is the Flower Shop. And it's close. Close, I guess. Oh, this is a cart. And this is like the front of the shop. That's what this one is. It's like the front of the shop. This one kind of reminds me of one of her earlier dies. 
like the window scene. That's what this reminds me of. Do y'all remember that? Where the cat sat on there and she cut it out. And I have that die set up, up, up there, up there. Okay, so then, of course, we still have all of the stuff, lamp posts and lights and stuff. Um, and, you know, you can buy, um, it's called the mini set. It's a mini set, and I think it goes to the houses, but you can use it for this, too. But this, it's, see, like, these are the single ones for the shop. Super cute. Um, these are the same type of thing as the other one. Letters. They're just, this seems to be a lot bigger than the other one. And then this here is like garland to go around the edges. And then the title page for the flower shop. Of course, we always get envelopes and the little piece that marks. I think these papers are the same. Maybe not. Let's see. Um, nope, I don't remember this one. papers i love her papers i love the thickness of her papers too i'm, I'm thinking that this is like 80 pounds 65 pounds i don't know i just love the paper weight of her stuff too mm -mm. put another one on there that then this and then that so and then of course we always get some of her gold and then this is the die and these are all easels, too. I didn't say that before. But these are all easel cards. I love, yeah, this is rem it's reminiscent of that one die. I mean, that one, what is the world and I love it. I can't even, hang on. I can't see the name of it, but I'm looking at the box right now because it's sitting on top of my bookshelf. Um, Yeah. Super cute. You know what I noticed? There's no cold. Mm. I, I wonder if she stopped doing that. I don't know. I have I, I had the membership and I, I let it lapse by accident while I've been going through these trials and tribulations and I didn't even think to renew it. So I have to renew it so I can go back into finishing school. Okay. So now that goes like this. Try to Tetris this all back in here. Oh, oh, it's on here. It's just on there. Not on that. Hmm. Okay. Now let's get there. Go cousin. That that means Charles is coming in the door. Okay. So that's those two. Okay. I'm gonna go straight to the Crafter's Companion. Um. Whatever that thing is, the template outline bundle. So I had the wrong doggone credit card on my account and I did not get the green. So if anybody has the green and want to sell it, can you please let me know? Because I don't have a green. So my set is not going to have the green. Hold on one minute. Yep, so I'm missing the green, but the blue, this is the blue. And then the next one is due on the 15th which is yellow so my green got canceled and they don't sell them nowhere I don't understand so I'm missing the I'm missing the uh, green but this is the blue y'all and y'all know how I feel about these templates but I, I have full set syndrome and so I gotta get that gotta get it because I have foot set syndrome and it's a problem so and then they don't sell it at crafters companion which is I'm shocked that they don't have it they only have the the first part they don't have the these okay so we know what the template library is most of you if you've seen this um 
this really takes you back. This takes you back because this is where we trace stuff, which sometimes is good, sometimes is not because you don't get uniformity a lot of times from one card to the other. Um, but the recipes are really cute. And I have this CD thing from Crafter's Companion, this thing here, that has templates in it on it that can cut on my cutting machine. So I don't even know why I bought this. Hey, hon. Hey, hey. Hey. Um, you, I paused you, so they didn't hear you say hello. Well, say hello now. Hey, everybody. How y'all doing? There you go. <laughs> I paused him right quick, and he was like, hello. <laughs> Get out of here. You know, you and your dogs. Okay, so we have the template, recipe, and book, and voila. So the recipe cards um, tell you what the actual card or project will look like and how to do it. That's what the recipe card does. I used to want to learn how to do this so bad. This explosion. Until one day I found it online and then now they have a template for it. <laughs> Super cute though. Shadow box card. Okay. Yeah, I know it drives me crazy with this drawing of stuff. But this is really pretty. And this this card right here, we have Anna dies for. Remember, she did the whole series. I have all those dies. The camera it's called the camera shutter, but it's a shutter card die. This is good for when you're doing one-offs, practicing how to do one-offs for um, new people who don't want to invest a whole bunch into the stuff. These are bendy folds. I have dies for the bendy folds um, from a company in the UK. So it's funny because nothing is new. Nothing is new. It's just the designs and the dies. Um, and I have not purchased anything. Oh, now okay. Tiered pop up card. Now, this is something I would like to do. Um, Fancy card storage box. I don't know. I might like to do that. Um, yeah, I haven't bought anything at all. Uh-oh. Lost a page. It came off my little spindle thingy. Came back. Um, for months. Not, not craft stuff, really. Um. Um, yeah, so I haven't bought anything because I was preparing for a community baby shower that me and two other nonprofits put on for our community. And so I spent several months on that project. Okay, so this is the templates. So you trace this and trace the layers and stuff. And it this tells you how to do it, how many pieces of paper you need, that kind of stuff. And for each project, it has a traceable unit. And this, um, you just take this out just like that. Great concept and idea. Kind of defeats the purpose of that little purple thing that she had, that little box or whatever. Because it kind of does the same thing. I don't know what the thing is that she came out with that started this whole thing. Secret message handbag. Hmm. Kind of reminds the. This is the bendy fold card. What I'm trying to get to is, oh, sidestep rocker card. What? Where was this at? I didn't see this in that. Maybe I just didn't look. This is try pop up. Just say tiered. Tiered pop up card. I might attempt to make this tiered pop up card. Maybe. I'll see if it, if I have it that I can die cut. Because that, let me show you what I'm talking about. It's this thing here. This ultimate thing. 
it has projects in it, but I'm not sure what project is in there. That's that USB to it. Look at this. See how long it's been? The stuff, the tape can rot it. It can rot it. So it's not sticky. I have y'all. I bought this fan because y'all know I have Ryobi batteries for my um, drills and hot glue guns. So I bought this fan uh, from Home Depot, and it is fabulous. Look at that. Y'all probably y'all can't feel it, but I can. It got two settings. And so in the summertime, when everybody was burning up at the park, I had a fan. And then everybody went and bought one. <laughs> My family, I mean, when we were at who were we? Somebody's house. Oh, my brother's house. He just moved back to Michigan. Okay, happy and heartfelt. This I got one of them USBs. So that's what this template book is. Okay. Put this back in here. I'll sort all this stuff out later. Okay, the next thing is my Stamplistic. This was for, what month is this for? I don't know. Y'all know I love Stamplistic, even though I never bling. This is the, the July's, July's um, A Cut Above program. So this one was last month's. And this is where you get the one piece where you cut it out in the, the frame and then this is the layers and what you do is you cut out each one in different colors to bring out the design and so this is what this looks like and then this is the stamp you stamp it on each color paper and cut it out so that's this was July's and then I have another one where this one here And then this is how we, I keep them. I keep them in the boxes like this. Uh, and I, I have not done a video since April, when, when I was in Stamplistic, I think. Yeah, my mama positive. I have not done, because I had started. Okay, this is June because May we didn't get one, because we had just came back from the conference, uh, Stamplistics. Um, conference and we're in the stamp list this next conference because I'm having surgery and I got to make sure that I don't I didn't plan it the same weekend mm -mm. stamp -listic. um so yeah so because of the it was so much after April that's not it Um, they didn't have one in May, so we got this one for June, and I won the three months of free cut aboves, but they keep charging me, and so I got to call them and be like, excuse me, I won. Okay, let's see, this is October 25th through the 29th, okay, yeah, um, hmm. October 25th through the 29th and I go for surgery on the 31st and I just will be coming back from Atlanta I think on the 22nd <laughs> okay so then what is this oh this is those the inlay dies so you cut these out of the paper and then you see behind them so I, I canceled this auto ship because I just couldn't even do it. I canceled this. I have so much stuff similar to this stuff, and it wasn't just like blow your mind type of thing that I just canceled it. So I only have a few of those. Full set syndrome didn't sink in for that. Okay, and then the last two things is Anna Griffin. Y'all know I never get to pull these. Never, ever. Ever. 
What's up, honey? So this is that old car. And she came out with another car, too. And I think a truck or something. And I did not get that because I haven't been buying nothing. It's um, But I got this one because I just love Anna's stuff. Not because I really needed it or even. That was it. And then this one. Is the train. So I got the car and the train. And there's one more. There's one more, a new car she came out with. I didn't get it in this last craft day because I don't, I didn't, I didn't remember it was a craft day because I had been working on that baby shower because what we did was we had a community baby shower and we sponsored it, you know, out of our own, um, out of our own um, organization. We sponsored it. We got a, a lot of help from a different, a lot of different people, which, when I go to work on Wednesday, I got to send out back all the thank you cards and the donation letters. Um, but we, what we did was we serviced over 100 young men and women with clothes, diapers, wipes, um, toys. We gave out stuff for the older kids. We were blessed with donations for lunch boxes and um, cups for the older children, but our focus was newborn to two, and we gave out, you know, bibs and burp cloths and all kinds of stuff, and it was a very good, we actually got a write-up in our local paper, it was like a community baby shower, a hit, and we got the local prosecutor actually sent us a um, letter, it's wonderful, thanking us for having that event. Um, it was fabulous, considering nobody really out that we expected to help us helped us. So, I don't know. It was really a good event for the people. So, I'm happy we succeeded. And next year, it'll be bigger. The other thing that I bought that I did not need, um, and this was at the other craft day, and this one said it's the fine, and this one is regular, is these glues by Diamond Press. First of all, I want to tell you that this glue is good. It works. only reason why I bought them is because they had these fancy little tops. And so what you do is, not that, don't unscrew, pull up, and it got this little pin in it, and it just cleans the barrel for you. So you put it on there and push it down. Don't unscrew, because if you unscrew, you'll unscrew the whole thing like that. But you just, you pull up, and it, this little wire here, See that goes into there and it like cleans or make sure there's no glue in there and it's just it was just cute like I don't need glue at all because I have I buy about a gallon and I usually use um, y'all know the glue that I use the funny part is I use this glue forever because first of all they were the makers of glue but I used the glue all brand a multi-purpose extra strong formula and I get it from Michaels with a coupon usually by the gallon and I use it for all kinds of things so the reason why I bought this glue was because of this thing here <laughs> it was cute and so yeah so I'm doing this video. It's, it's about going to be about 30 minutes. I'm going to um, I'm thank again my subscriber who uh, emailed me. I want to say thank you to my subscriber who, when we were in Ohio at the um, event for Stamplistic, she took me out to, to dinner, um, me and another one of the ladies who went with us. We had a fabulous time, her and two other people. Um, I don't like to say people's names because that's my business and not your business. But you know who you are, and I appreciate you so much. It was so uh, beautiful. Um, I came back home, um, and I had started doing my uh, video because I bought a new um, camera rig set up. And I started doing my uh, video at Mega Me because I came home 
and then I went to Mega Meet, I think the next weekend or something, which was Mother's Day, and we had a situation which was horrible, and I had to leave Mega Meet, and I just want to say, um, you know, y'all don't generally see my face, but y'all see these hands, so y'all know I'm Af I'm I'm black, African American, whatever, and um, I had a situation where my son was arrested while walking, and um, so it led to a whole bunch of things and so I have not been on my game and I have not been doing anything um, except working in my nonprofit because I had to let some stuff go to take care of that situation and thank God it is being taken care of and we're um, working through it but unless you go through it you don't understand it um, and so something that we're working through um, unfortunately, I have to have knee surgery in October, so um, it's going to set me back a little bit further in doing anything else but being at home. So y'all will probably get videos on, in October because, uh, well, actually it'll be November and December because I'm having knee surgery on the 31st of October it's because I need two knee replacements. Thank you, Dr. Moore. Um, we're praying that success. Um it's a couple of other things that's going on, but we're just thanking God for the blessing in advance. Um, and that's about all I want to say for that. Um, I want to really say thank you to my subscriber who emailed me because I have been feeling bad that I have built up this channel and I have not been doing anything. And you kind of kickstarted me to say, get out there and do something. And, and I'm glad you did. I'm, I'm not sure when I'm going to post my next video because um, I just don't even know what, where to start back at. Uh, I will. My mojo will come back. Some things that happen to you in your life like kills your joy. And the situation with my son has killed my joy for doing the things that I love. But I'm going to get back to it because I can't let all this crap stuff stay in here too much longer. Or my husband might divorce me because I have too much stuff. So, thank y'all so much. <laughs> thank you so much for joining me. And I will see y'all all in the next one.